I'm a little nervous right now because there's a lot of construction around here. And it's like there's cops on every corner guarding the construction area or whatever. But uh, when have you ever found one of these? A warming station for your sausage sandwiches. Ugh. Ah. Oh, that's a good time to have buckets in the back seat. Why won't this thing stay closed? I suppose they want it to open easily so you can buy a sandwich. Right? This lady walking by with a baby stroller. Should I ask her to help me? All right, I don't know why I took that. Probably doesn't work. Takes a ton of space in the car. But uh, I never had one before. What do you think, should we cut this? Yeah, probably. Probably. But I'm getting nervous, you know? The thing with the cops is like, if you drive by them once, I don't think they care, but if you drive by them twice or three times, then they start noticing you. And once the cops notice you, that's a problem. That's when they say, why is this guy Cops drive by right now. Pretend I don't see him. All right. Anyway, let's, uh, that beeping is a cop. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Welcome to trash picking. Sometimes I wish I could show you the things that I'm describing. So that last clip, there was a cop just like backing up the street in this big cop van. That looks like copper to me, but it's not. All right, I guess we don't need any of this crap. Yeah, then the cop got out of the cop van and he like just looked at me and didn't even seem to notice me. Saw me digging through the garbage and everything. All right, sorry, but we're gonna have to leave that one behind. What about this basket though? Yeah. It's a neat basket. Probably can't use it for anything. Yeah, so uh, you never know what the cops are gonna do. Luckily today they did nothing. Wanna see my imitation of Curtis Blow if Curtis Blow was a scrapper instead of a rapper? Pretty sweet, huh? Those are nice, nice bolts. I like those bolts. All right, we'll take their little grommets and stuff just to be, just to be a good little doobie. But I can't take your big pipe, lady. It's too big. Anyway. Through the hoop, y'all. All right, now I'm gonna be able to relax, hopefully. Because this guy threw out a sledgy sledgerson. Oh, look at this thing. Makes me wanna break something. What else do we have? We have a little vice. Isn't that sweet? It's so clean, too. Last 10 vices I got were all just like rusty pieces of junk. Uh, man, 
I wonder if I'm gonna run into anybody who wants that thing. Because I don't want it. Oh look, it's a little frog. What do you got to say, Mr. Frog? Ribbit, ribbit. I don't know. That thing's neat, but you know what they're gonna say. Does it work? Does it work? I don't know. Hmm. Do I need that brush? Kinda. Let's go over here and decide what we need together as a group. All right. There's no way on God's green earth that I can live without this. That is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. This, I mean, this guy is like, this guy is knocking it out of the park with his tool selection. And I'm knocking it out the park with the audio. Listen to my car rumbling. Didn't I fix my exhaust? Yes, sorta. All right. I guess we could take that. I don't know, maybe someday I'll use it. And the, uh, what a sad relic of a pastime, a great pastime, but a sad relic of a forgotten time before battery powered lights. Okay, I would say that this is a smashing success. And uh, I'm glad because the last time I was at this house, the guy seemed like, you know, kind of grouchy, but all is forgiven. I've kind of been thinking about going to the beach lately. So. This is apropos. Let's see. Anyway, what about this? Wow. Coolest birdhouse ever. All right. I don't know that I'm gonna go to the beach because to me, the logistics just aren't worth it. And you know, if I did go to the beach, I wouldn't be jumping in the ocean, right? I'm kind of like slowly making my way into the water. And depending where I was, I'd be, you know, freezing my little nutsack off. Yeah. Yeah, as somebody who grew up in the Northeast, the first time I went to a beach where the water was warm, it was... You know, it's like getting into a bathtub. It's very pleasant. Anyway, I'm not sure I'm happy about this load because this thing is taking all my space, but I think we're stuck with it. I mean, we might re-gift it to that same pile, but we can't re-gift it anywhere else. You guys want another big stupid thing? Oh, yes. It's broken. I'm so glad it's broken. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't want to take it. I was gonna take it, but I didn't want to take it. What's that say? Oh look, it's a mime contemplating things. That's so sad though, because that mime is trapped in a painting in the wall. He's not even in the room. I don't even know if he's a mime or a clown or something. It's like, he's, a mime trapped in a painting that's trapped in a painting. So he's double trapped. That poor dude. That poor imaginary dude. Couldn't figure out what this thing is. But it's a mirror that looks like a bike. Can we see the dog watching us? No, I'm not gonna show you the dog. But it's not a mirror that looks like a bike. It's a mirror that looks like a bike wheel. So. It's the Ikea Volda. It's something. Something stupid. I don't know if these are plastic or metal. Huh. That's metal. There's another one right there.
That's an interesting thing. I'll show you what's interesting on the other one. See, it's like a wedge design, you know? And then this steel pole fits on the wedge, I guess. Anyway, I'll tuck that under my arm here, scurry on up the street. Anyway, isn't that cool? We don't have the other wedge, but like you can hook these together. Uh, sorry, sir, you gotta stay behind the line. Not supposed to park here, but what else is new? What else is new? My goodness. I want your fan, I don't want your board. Whatever that is, I want. I want some scrap iron. All right, so what is this pig? Oh, I see, I see what it is. It's a whole like steam unit for the iron. You think we can carry that? Oh, good Lord. Wow, awkward. Oh, why don't I have a hand truck with me? I'm losing my grip. Oh. oh my god. The humanities. Oh. Whatever shall I do? Oh. Ah. Huh, made it. Alright, I'm really hoping whatever the hell's inside that thing is metal. And not just a bunch of like concrete or something. Anyway, I think the way this works is, oh, uh, this generates steam. And then you iron your clothes with this. So that's great, because, you know, I'm very fastidious about my appearance. Regardless of how it may appear. Oh, good gracious. Oh, we're hung up on the basketball spring. Oh, Curtis Blow, damn you. Oh. Damn you to hell, Curtis Blow. Why did I take this lacrosse stick? That's the problem. Here's oh, your problem, lady. Lacrosse stick. All right, I guess that's as far as the steam generator is gonna get in there. And that thing better be filled with goodies because if it ain't, that's gonna be a problem. You guys wanna go through time to the good old days of Lechmere? Let's see. We got some Bose stuff. You know how much I love Bose stuff. I really do. I love it with a passion. All right, Bose speakers. Put those on top of the car. Oh, they got Velcro on them, too. That's fun. Then we got the uh, Bose thing, whatever that is. This is like the main unit that the other units connect to it. 
good that it's sitting in grass too. Then let's see. Eh, Ken would, but I wouldn't. Um, the Pioneer PDM 400, maybe. And the Kenwood, whatever that is. Oh, and cassettes. Oh, they're all high bias to it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take everything they got. Just take it all. Boom, good Lord. We're gonna have to reconfigurate our back seat load. All right, world's best treehouse, meet world's worst bucket. Tools, go romp and play with the other tools. Don't get broken. I'll have to wedge that in somewhere. Oh God, isn't this the nicest sledgehammer you've ever seen in your life? It's all blocky. It looks like a Minecraft sledgehammer. How are you today? Very good. I sure do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, she was uh, loverly. I don't know if I do have use for this stuff, honestly, but I'm just gonna take it because I'm greedy. Greedy. Wow, it's so hot. It's weird, my car generates a lot of heat. Probably because the exhaust is all messed up. Oh, what's that? Some kind of antenna? No. Now, the great thing about having all this stuff here is that A, if I go around a corner, it's uh, gonna fly all over the place. And B, if I press the brakes, it's gonna fly all over the place. So, it's a regular laugh riot, ready to happen. We don't need their shelf. Thank you so much, lady, for all your junk. Are these things a thing? Ikea. Wow. Ikea makes a lot of things that look like things, but that like aren't really things, if that makes any sense. Like it looks like some rare old mid-century modern tchotchke, but it's really just a imitation thereof. Oh, I see. Look at that. Little stacky stackers. And... Alright, we'll take it. Those aren't going to fly all over the car. Oh. Alright, you want their dollhouse? No. Snow shovel? No. How about that? No. How about this hinge? Well, I think somebody opened this and then they didn't like close it back. There's one person out here, I think, who deliberately makes a mess. I think I know who it is, but I don't want to throw anyone under the bus in case I'm wrong. And you wouldn't know who it is anyway. Anyway, I could probably use that hinge or something. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that pile. I got all excited about these things, but... 
And it's just like two dollars at Ikea, I guess. I need to get out of the car more often, but today there's just not a lot of reason to do that. Nobody's really throwing much away. I also need to look at the back of the camera more often. Look at this perfectly framed shot of my car. All right. Perfectly framed shot of the interior of my trunk. There you go. Anyway, I'm kind of bored right now, but hopefully things will pick up. You want the blitz ball bat? No. Look at the cute little reindeer though. That's fun. What about these garbage cans? Those are actually pretty nice. These two ones on the inside anyway. I don't know, I don't think they're nice enough for us to take them. All right, you want some skates? You want an autographed Harlem Wizards basketball? Yeah, why not? All right, here's some lady gossiping on her phone. Let's see if we can eavesdrop while she walks by. Did you hear anything gossipy? Where's the rest of your toilet, lady? All right. Well, I'm really excited. Sometimes this like outdoor lighting wire is all tangled up and you gotta clip a bunch of things, but nope. Ready to go right into the trunk. America. Fuck yeah. What are the chances of that thing and making it home without the pole coming off? All right, do we want this thing? Look at Mr. Sunshine. How can you not take Mr. Sunshine? Come on, buddy. You think these wheels are good? No, 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 no. No. Eh. No, 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 no. I don't know, they look kind of cheap to me. No. Sorry. No. Sorry, Mr. Dog. Miss Dog. No. No. I hate upsetting the dogs. No. There's a bunch of people across the street, so let's be quiet. I think these are brass. I don't know, we could check. Where's a little magnet? There it is. That's probably aluminum, but nothing sticks to it, so. How are you doing today, sir? <laughs> Thanks for the uh, lights, appreciate it. Well, the sun kind of went down. And I was gonna grab this fragile ele elephant, but it looks like somebody else already experienced its fragility. Sorry, Mr. Elephant. All right, I don't really like recording video at night, so let's do this one last pile. And then maybe if I remember tomorrow when I disassemble that steam unit, I'll show you what's inside it. So let's see what we got. Oh, this is what I found in another pile that I couldn't really record. 
It's all this crazy like uh, silver plate crap. And then also a lot of um, spoons and knives and forks and junk. And it's weird because I was just having a conversation with my buddy the other day about how these are almost always empty. But I finally found one that isn't. And I found the penny board. It's like the Rastafarian color scheme, not, not bad. All right, so let's see this table. I bet that says Ethan Allen on the bottom in this neighborhood. You know what? Every time I find one of these ugly tables, I end up regretting it. So this time, I think I'm gonna see if I can unscrew it right here on the side of the road. Lighting's kind of harsh, my apologies. Should I be providing commentary right now? I don't know. I got nothing to say. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, right? The thinking is that these things almost always end up getting scrapped, and then I gotta figure out what to do with the tabletop, so. Let's just, uh, leave it here oh dream big dreams that's nice oh, it's textured like it's a real painting do all things with love i love trash picking and i love talking to myself now let's see book about warren buffett i might have read that before i want to I want to try to read more books sometimes, but I don't always do it. All right, anything else here? Let's see how old this Warren Buffett book is. Nineteen ninety-five. Ugh. Yeah, I think I already read that one. All right. Anything in the watermelon case? No. All right. So that's gonna do it tonight. Hopefully, I can remember to show you that steam thing when I take it apart tomorrow. I think tonight was an unremarkable night. Although I have managed to remark about just about everything we did. We found this thing. A bunch of other dumb junk. Yeah, I'm not sad. And I hope you guys aren't sad either, and I will either see you in one second or see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, here we are in the driveway. It's tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna see what's inside the steam machine. It looks like I got a lot of brass tidbits to take off before I can take the lid off. So I'll do that. Then we'll pop the lid off and see what's hiding inside this pig. Wanna watch some dirty water gurgling? That's probably gonna go on for a while, but uh, I didn't want you guys to miss out. This is a pretty complicated detidbitification. You wanna see some more water come out though? I wonder if this thing even weighs anything without all the water in it. This might be entertaining.
It's making me thirsty. Hold on, I gotta go inside to get a drink now. All right, are you ready? All right. Is that thick enough to be iron? We got some insulation. And, uh, I guess it looks like a water tank in there. But how does it make the, um, the heat? I don't know. I'm kind of bored with this thing, but we'll take the ends off and see if there's anything else in there that's interesting to us. Old black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? I hope it rains soon. Because my driveway is covered with dirty water. And rust stains. Yeah, scrapping ain't easy on a driveway. Does this look fun? It's bundled up like a little baby. Ugh, don't bundle up your baby in Owen's Corning fiberglass. Bundle up your attic in that stuff, though. All right, so there's your water tank. That's what's on this side. Let's look on the other side. Maybe there's more crap on there or something. All right, here's where all the goodies seem to be. Gonna untuck the baby from its little blanket though. Jeez. All right, uh, I have no idea how this thing works. I'm assuming there's some kind of heating element in there or something. Yeah, this is really boring. Like last week we found a heating element that was worth $85 in copper, but this is uh, not that. Uh, you know, I'm gonna probe deeper though. I want to I want to see what's inside here. I know you guys do too All two of you are still watching It's a giant military plane Anyway, you guys want to see if we can see what the big secret is in this tank Because I think your heating elements in there Is that it? Wow, that's crazy. That little heating element is enough to generate uh, all that steam, huh? What is that, copper, brass? I don't know. I guess we can chuck it in the copper bucket once we trim this aluminum plate off of it. And there you go. Uh, sorry that this was so disappointing and stupid and it didn't have any big copper coils in it or anything, but you know, now we know what it is. And we did get some nice little brass tidbits off of it. So I'm not sad that I took it. And I'm not sad that you joined me as I took it apart. And I'm not sad that you joined me last night as I dug it out of the garbage. So until next time, thanks for watching.